ಸಮಾರಂಭಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ इस समय हमारे साथ उपस्थित सभी दर्शकों और वक्तों का मैं प्रेम एवं आशीर्वाद सहित स्वागत करता हूँ आई वेलकम एवरी वन ऑफ यू विथ माई लव एंड ब्लसिंग्स टूडे आई एक्सपैंड ऑन निराहार संयम एंड आई हैव थ्री थिंग्स टू टॉक टूडे one the story of today's leela story of the deity and nirahara samyama and today's subject for nitya satsang stability i'll do one by one first on nirahara samyama listen all the nirahara samyama participants have to understand this few basic rules and regulations you cannot use your will power to be nirahari you only can use your conscious power to be nirahari what is the meaning of will power and conscious power with will power there will always be struggle with conscious power there will never be any struggle understand if you use will power and fast it will be just a fasting you may just lose weight nothing more than that in the dream you will feel like you are feasting in the dream you will have dreams that you are feasting eating all items you can have tea coffee no problem anything liquid you can have only in the first level i wanted to remove solid from your pattern if you remove the solid lot of items related to pride and taste will be removed if you remove the solid food that itself will help you to clear many of the patterns please understand so first this 48 hours remove solid food from your life that is enough and one more important thing when the stomach does not have the work of digest digesting digestion it will release so many restless patterns to you that is why first working on removing the solid food from your system yesterday today and to till tomorrow morning no solid food you can have any amount of liquids like juice coffee tea buttermilk but not alcohol you can't justify that is also liquid no no so whole day continuously do completion every irritation agitation you feel powerlessness you feel do completion every moment you feel powerless please understand when you start the nirahara samyama you will not feel tiredness first you will feel powerlessness first 
because it is more psychological it is not physical it is more psychological you will only feel powerlessness food is always associated with power for you so understand complete 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 with all that powerless feeling jab aap nirahara samyama aaram karte hai aap takavat nahi balki shakti hinta anubhav karenge us shakti hin anubhav ke sath lagatar purnatva kriya kijiye go on completing 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 even there is mountains of incompletion in front of you you can complete i know sometime you feel there is mountains of incompletions in front of you you are afraid to look at the life i tell you it is possible completion is possible sabhi nirahara samyama mein bhag lene walo ko समझना चाहिए कि आप अपनी इच्छा शक्ति कर उपवास नहीं कर सकते आपको अपनी जागृत शक्ति का उपयोग कर संयमा करना चाहिए जब आपके पेट को कुछ पचाने के लिए नहीं है बल्कि बहुत सारे बेचैन मूल विचारधाराओं का प्रदर्शन होगा अंडरस्टैंड the junior civilizations egyptian greek latest civilizations european civilizations modern civilizations the western civilizations these civilizations are filled with food because still they have not found the depths of life please understand when you live for quite a long time you will discover lot of great truths related to life that is why vedic tradition carries so much of depth are we are sitting on the planet earth from a long time we know how to eat we know how to treat we know how to wear we know how to give birth in a best way we know how to die in a best way because we are sitting here for since ages we are not newcomers we are senior most civilization anywhere you go newly to that city or that place many things you need to learn from the people who are already settled there so we are the people who have settled here since ages i am not talking please understand i am not talking out of any arrogance or pride or i am not even talking because i am born in vedic civilization no i am just stating some truths simple facts our guys know how to fly 170 years before right brothers flew in mumbai india one hindu pandit made the aircraft as per the descriptions from vedic tradition and flew for 4 km means little more than 2 miles so please understand but unfortunately never we are not propagandists that is where the problem is 
we go on doing research and development this nirahara samyama is a age old method of bringing health to your body during the nirahara samyama drink water the moment you wake up and brush the teeth drink water before you go to bed continuously once in one hour half an hour sip a glass of water you may feel oh continuously have to rush to restroom that is okay that is okay all your organs will be awakened fresh cleansed in hindu tradition we call it vrata almost in all families at least one person will be this vrata obsessed person monday for shiva tuesday for muruga wednesday for ourself if you don't find any god come on let us do it for ourself and thursday for guru friday for devi saturday for sunny graha and again sunday for surya but i tell you always in my experience i found this vrata obsessed people are very healthy really my grandmother i have seen many people in my life who are this vrata obsessed it is from that i got the basis for the nirahara samyama then i developed as a proper process through the help of hatha yoga pratipika and padanjali yoga sutras and the yogic literatures one of the powerful result of nirahara samyama is it awakens your kundalini shakti निराहार संयमा के समय हर घंटे थोड़ा पानी पीते रहिए सवेरे उठे की बात और उठने के बाद और रात को सोने से पहले पानी पीजिए आपके शरीर के सभी अंग बहुत स्वस्थ हो जाएंगे क्योंकि आपका शरीर पूरी तरह से स्वच्छ हो जाएगा i tell you this nirahara samyama is one of the greatest gift my contribution to the world clearly systematizing see the process itself is available from the time immemorial with the hindu tradition but i have organized it very clearly with the yogic process and right context i sincerely request and recommend nirahara samyama for healing many disorders and diseases you can join till tomorrow of course tomorrow we will be having break day after tomorrow means thursday morning we will start the second level you can even join second level directly first level is more like a preparing your body and mind without giving a strong shocks understand nirahara samyama 
will awaken many powers which you never even thought you have it it will awaken your memory power you may think how not giving food can awaken memory power because it will uh, release all the restlessness you carry agitations you carry anger you carry resistance you carry when you complete with all that you will have so much of inner space you will have memory power so so many extraordinary powers you carry inside you will be released with the nirahara samyama that's all for now on nirahara samyama next i'll describe the alankar today shiva is gracing us with the posture of blessing one of his devotee with a gold coins the story is very beautiful and sweet story that is why i don't want to give up on this story i really thought there are so many important things i have to discuss inner awakening is going on should i spend time on this story no i, sh- I can't miss this story it's such beautiful story that <laughs> shiva shiva coming down and initiating giving enlightenment to a black sparrow is also not a big thing see the receiver may be a small guy but the item given and the giver is great big guy you understand see i come down and give enlightenment to people is not a big thing i come down and help one teach one brahmachari to wash his cloth is the real thing or help a brahmachari to wear the dress properly is the real thing he can come down to give big things to small people and small things to small people he can even come down to give small things to small people an ordinary priest a poor adi shaiva priest who is born from the community which was doing puja to sundareshwara in madurai he is supposed to receive acharya abhishega and get married only then he can start doing puja to sundareshwara so he goes and begs mahadeva please give me some money to have acharya abhishega and get married so that i can start doing puja to you at the same time king had the pandya king had a doubt his name is shenbaga pandian had a doubt whether his queen's hair is naturally fragrant or the fragrant is artificial and he ordered the country anybody who clarifies his doubt will be given 1000 gold coins of course when he comes down he does lot of work not just helping a brahmachari to assist uh, the wear the cloth properly or not just help him wash his clothes when he washes the cloth when he teaches a brahmachari to wash the cloth i teach them also how to wash their mind <laughs> so mahadeva comes down whenever i describe his leelas 
actually i describe his leelas just for my own enjoyment <laughs> not for anything else blessed are those who can flow by remembering his leelas So Mahadeva comes down and in the form of poet and tells that priest, don't worry, you are praying for money, I'll give you a song which clarifies the doubt of the king, whether his wife's hair is naturally fragrant or artificial fragrance. you go on give this poet this song poem sorry not poet poem poem to king and take that thousand gold coins you have money and that priest he was little afraid who will accept me as a poet if i take your verses your poetry even now nobody respects me how will anybody respect me if i take your poetry and show mahadeva who came in the form of a poet says no don't worry you go take it and give it to the king you will get money the poetry means that women have a natural fragrance that's the meaning of the poetry so the poet the uh, priest he goes and reads out the poem in the court and king is very happy that his doubt is cleared because he has not announced his doubt to the world please understand he has not announced his doubt he only said i have a doubt anybody brings the poetry to clarify my doubt i'll give them the gift so the poet is supposed to have the intuition to find the doubt of the king so when the poet exactly addressed his doubt king was convinced this poem is from a poet who has an intuition and he decided he will give the gift 1000 gold coins but there was a chief poet in the court that guy jumps in and says no 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 you cannot give money for this poem because what is expressed in this poem is not truth women does not have natural fragrance for their hair now it's a big problem the chief poet says no fragrance is only artificial because of flower scent scented oil not natural but the poem poem says it is natural fragrance come on what to do now let us analyze really the problem once more <laughs> whether the hair has natural fragrance or not because the nakiran nakiran is the great poet chief poet please understand he is not in ordinary place in madurai Sundareshwara created three seats one the kingdom and management of the language and sarvanya pita the spiritual seat please understand for any civilization to be alive three things are required philosophy of lifestyle 
the lifestyle philosophy how the lifestyle should be the philosophy second art and architecture third language in madurai sundareshwara created three seats for all the three the pandya kingdom the seat of the king is for maintaining the architecture and art the tamil sangam the sangha for the language the seat for the language he himself established and very important the sarvanya peeta to keep the knowledge of lifestyle alive madurai adinam he himself established all the three so please understand whenever there was disturbance in any one of this he himself comes down and maintains realigns and revives so now a great poet and he is not just poet he is a poet of the highest order highly integrated a personality like in a kiran now that is why i really can't digest this this pseudo yellow journalist gopal ramagopalan using the title nakiran for his yellow journal blackmailing yellow journal nakiran gopal has no right to use the word nakiran for his magazine maybe he can use the word nakki anyhow yep poet like a nakiran cannot tell a lie why should he object if the poetry is truth nakiran says no women does not have natural fragrance for the hair but who sent the poet mahade who sent the poem mahadeva himself so now big conflict i tell you unfortunately never this story was explained it's almost like end of the story is mahadeva is powerful so he bulldozed he burnt nakiran so the logical conclusion was never arrived whether the women's hair as natural fragrance or not the truth is never explained now i'll explain now i'll explain now this truth was never finally revealed end of the story also mahadeva comes and uses his third eye power bulldozes nakiran and he is burnt and the nakiran comes back and apologizes oh mahadeva but the solution is not arrived whether the women sir as natural fragrance or not so the priest comes and reads out the poem and chief poet opposes no man sir as no natural fragrance but finally the priest goes to the temple and cries see what is this one poet came and gave me the poem and i went to the king and other than beating i got everything <laughs> again mahadev appears and says what is this you did not get the 1000 gold coin 
this guy says they would have beaten me and the chief poet said your song is useless and there is a mistake in your song and mahadeva himself comes to the court in the form of a poet directly to argue with the nakira chief poet of course the chief poet faces mahadeva says women's hair has no natural fragrance then mahadeva beautifully argues even the devatas and devis nakira makes a mistake there only he says no even devatas gandharvas women devata women don't have natural fragrance and mahadeva goes to the next level even for meenakshi nakira makes a mistake yes even for meenakshi there's no natural fragrance that is where nakira lost his integrity he became inauthentic because he already assumed a stand he has to maintain that stand please understand then the story goes that um, nakira was burnt by mahadeva's third eye anger and mahadeva orders the king to give the coins to the priest and all the thousand gold coins are given to the priest and the story ends but i don't think if you have to use your third eye power you don't need to come down to just give a thousand gold coin for a priest so what is the final logical conclusion that was never revealed please understand women have natural fragrance for their hair that's the truth listen when you become highly intellectual your ability to smell is lost so as a nakiran is a high level intellectual he lost the ability to sense very subtle smell the natural fragrance of the hair is a very subtle smell king is not that big intellectual so his sense of smell is still alive of course mahadeva sharpest senses and one more thing you need to know when a woman becomes intellectual their hair loses the natural fragrance so what nakira expressed from his experience is true one he is the high level intellectual he himself can't smell such a subtle smells because please understand when you become very high intellectual the first thing you lose is the sense of smell sense of smell whether somebody is a intellectual or a enlightened intellectual this one test is enough if he still retains the high sense of smell he is an enlightened intellectual or he is just an intellectual i have always seen all enlightened beings have a high sense of smell osho he can smell a perfume from 200 feet there are some perfumes he was allergic so those perfumes they will not even allow inside the hall because for 200 feet he can smell jay krishna murthy he can smell maybe more than 2 300 meters actually if you go to adayar is center 
there is a tree near the entrance and his squatters is at least 200 meter he can sit in his squatters and smell the flower in the tree in the entrance he will say that tree is flowered today ramakrishna nakiran is only a intellectual of course highly integrated intellectual but not enlightened that is why he lost the ability to smell that sensitive smells that's first next the women who has whom he has seen in his life that close are all intellectual poet women who lost their natural hair smell highly intellectual women lose the natural hair smell natural hair fragrance and the third important problem is the biggest problem intellectuals has is if they know one handful of clay and their qualities and thoroughly if they know one handful of clay they think they know all the clay available in the world intellectuals do not believe in exemptions they think everything is a straight forward square they just do cookie cutting so nakiran has not seen all the women of the world he might have seen only few women that close where he can smell their hair so unfortunately he has come closer to only intellectual women the pandits poets intellectual women intellectual poets i should use the word right word because of that naturally he never experienced because neither his nose is capable nor he came near somebody who has a natural fragrance finally above all when the argument came he should have stopped with human human beings human female he should not have stepped beyond see that is the biggest problem with intellectual is they establish one idea after that just to hold on to that idea they are ready to lose even their integrity and authenticity when if nakira would have stopped no all the women i have seen in my experience all the human women don't have natural fragrance if he stopped with that there won't the problem would not have arisen he would not have been burnt by mahadeva the intellectuals usually get stuck with that i am the right root pattern i am right with that root pattern and then they completely compromise with integrity and authenticity they are ready to lose everything just to be right that is what nakira did this is the most unfortunate pattern i tell you and that is the way they lose everything and their very life here finally nakira realized mahadeva himself has come down even then he argues no you may be shiva himself but i am right i am right no woman as natural fragrance in the hair then finally mahadeva asked because 
Nakira lost the integrity and authenticity. Mahadeva takes the responsibility of removing him. <laughs> he burns him alive through the third eye. When Nakira realized, his soul realized his mistake, and apologizes, he gives life back and brings him back. Beautiful story. How if you are stuck with the pattern, I am right, your whole life will be taken away. This is the example of that story. Anyhow, finally, the question unsolved, whether women have natural fragrance or not, is solved today. <laughs> this is what exactly happened. All the women who came closer to Mahadeva, all of them had natural fragrance. And all the women who came near Nakira did not have natural fragrance and he did not have the capacity to smell also. This king had both type of women around him. <laughs> and he, some, in some he saw the smell, natural fragrance, in some he did not see the natural fragrance. That is why he had the doubt. So, finally, Mahadeva has to come back to remove the doubt. <laughs> Today, Mahadeva is in that alankar, in that decoration, having the gold coins in the right hand and having the poem he wrote in the left hand with the third eye. So understand, This pattern, I am right, is one of the worst pattern which will completely destroy even your life. Even your life can be destroyed. With this, I will move to the next segment of the morning satsang. Nirahara Samyama. So please sit straight. Close your eyes. Visualize. You have become Bidhi Kalpa Vriksha. Talk on stability, I'll do maybe tomorrow. Visualize you have become Bidhi Kalpa Vriksha. Cognize you have become Bidhi Kalpa Vriksha. And inhale through both the nostrils and mouth. Hold as long as you can by closing the nostrils and the mouth and exhale as slowly as you can through the nostrils, not through the mouth. Please do this Nirahara Samyama Kriya first level for 21 minutes. अब हम नित्य सत्संग के अगले भाग निराहार संयम में प्रवेश करेंगे सीधा बैठ जाइए और चेतना स्थिति के साथ कल्पना कीजिए कि आप बिड़दी वटवृक्ष बन गए नित्यानंद नगर वटवृक्ष बन गए है और आपने दोनों नासिकाओं और मुख के द्वारा सांस अंदर लीजिए जितना देर सांस को रोक सकते हैं उतना देर रोक कर रखिए जब आप सांस और नहीं रोक पाएंगे मुंह बंद रखे सांस को अपनी दोनों नासिकाओं द्वारा छोड़ दीजिए यह 
यह क्रिया 21 मिनट के के लिए यह क्रिया 21 मिनट तक लगातार कीजिए सिट स्ट्रेट एंड स्टार्ट द क्रिया नमः शिवाय लेट यू ऑल अचीव एक्सपीरियंस लिव एक्सप्रेस रेडिएट शेयर and explode in eternal bliss nityananda nityananda dhyana peetam nityananda nagar of mysore road bidadi bengaluru phone 08027279999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifebliss foundation